Hi guys and welcome back to another special video and I'm excited to bring you today's video and in this video I'm gonna be going over six tips for young people in their 20s so before we start the video make sure you go ahead and subscribe and click the notification button and do me a favor and just share with one of your friends okay guys so let's get right into this okay I've got six great tips for anybody in their 20s let's talk about point number one and that's education quite often on social media we see a lot of influential people and many other great entrepreneurs talking about education and some of them will say things like oh you know you don't really need an education things like that and guys let me just clarify that I think that's completely uh, unfair to young people and I think definitely as a young person you really should be focusing on your education there are people that become very successful without education but we can't deny the facts or statistics that people who aren't educated throughout their lifetime will generally make less than people that are educated. If you're a young student, I would advise you to complete your education to get a diploma or to get a bachelor's degree. And I understand that student loans is an issue. I would suggest maybe working a part-time job, being frugal, watching how you're spending your money. Try to get an education in a field that you want to work in. Um, I'm gonna make some more educational videos about college and university so stay tuned for those my main point is you want to get an education to specialize and go into a field where you can make a good salary and a good living and throughout your career you'll be able to pay off those loans no problem and your standard of living will be in my opinion better than someone that doesn't have a formal education Alright guys, this brings me to tip number two. The second tip I'm going to be talking about is finances. Okay guys, so whether you're still a college student or you're a recent graduate, I can't stress enough to be frugal. And for those of you coming out of school that might have uh, student loan debt, please be very aware of your spendings. Um, I recommend you getting some budgeting apps or softwares to keep track of your spending. Um, I think it's very important to review your spending every month, you know, go over what you bought and such and see, you know, and ask yourself, hey, is this really necessary? Do I really need to, you know, buy an energy drink every day or a coffee every day? For example, myself, I will pretty much spend three to four dollars almost every day on energy drinks. And yeah, it's a very bad habit. So it's something that I continue to monitor because it does add up okay uh, these small incremental uh, spendings will add up you know I know girls love coffee it's it's like a trend to get coffee or guys love energy drinks Red Bull and monsters so my tip there is just to be more aware of what you're spending and also you know if you're a new graduate you might want to consider holding off on you know buying an expensive vehicle or renting an expensive apartment um, maybe I would suggest renting a, a one bedroom or maybe leasing an affordable vehicle you know maybe you can do that for a couple years and pay down your loans and such and if you don't have any loans still right unless you're making a really good salary i would be very careful about finances because as you might be coming out of school you know you're now in the workforce and you know things cost money it costs money to pay your rent to pay for utilities your internet bill cell phone bills and all of these things add up you know maybe you eat out less uh, you can search on YouTube how to make fantastic delicious affordable meals and I think that's a great way to save on your money for example I would recommend maybe limiting your spending on things such as junk food and liquor I know a lot of young people uh, like to celebrate and spend tons on liquor and you know guys I'm guilty of this too. I buy liquor, I buy energy drinks, and I think I spend way too much money. Um, I blow money just as much as the next guy. So those are my tips for finances. Let's fly right through to number three. And number three is relationships. In terms of relationships in your 20s, 
in your 20s, you know, you're going to be in the workforce. You'll meet many different people. My advice is to pick your friends carefully because in your 20s, if you are hanging around a bunch of people that are drinking every weekend or abusing substance, um, most likely you're going to be end up doing that too for the next five, 10 years. If you're hanging around people that are, you know, educated, have professional careers, maybe they're even studying for a master's, they live very active lives, you know, they're always going to the gym, you know, that's great because you're surrounding yourself with educated people who like to self-improve. And I think going into your 20s, you should really be aware of who you're associating with, um, especially if, when it comes to dating, you know, you should ask yourself, is this person really good for me? And do I really have a future with this person? And, you know, I'm not saying, you know, you can't accept people that have flaws, but I'm just saying be very careful about who you spend your time with because there's a saying that a one bad apple could ruin the whole bunch. And it's very true. So you really want to surround yourself with well-rounded people who have similar interests and goals as you do. And moving on to number five is working hard. A lot of the young generation, because of social media, the rise of entrepreneurship, digital entrepreneurship, there's a lot of so-called gurus. It just seems like there's a lot of people looking to teach courses on how to make money trading, doing stocks, and how to make really fast money. I can definitely tell you that nothing beats hard work. But the concept of hard work is basically you have to pay your dues. If you want a successful career, you're going to have to work hard in that career. There is no shortcuts. You're going to have some pretty rough days. And I think that's absolutely healthy for young people. And I think it's very important to work hard, to do what's necessary, to maybe go the extra mile to achieve those goals. I think it's a little bit naive to think that you can just work hard or for a short period of time or just not work hard in general and become successful. And especially when it comes to professional career jobs, apply for those jobs, finish your education. If you need to do some upgrading, do that as well. So that's my tip for number five. All right guys, so moving on to the last tip. And of course you guys know I had to put this one in is health. Okay, so now you're in your 20s. Uh, you might be living by yourself. And what that means is you'll have a lot more freedom than you had when you were living uh, with your parents. So when it comes to your health, you want to watch what you're eating. They're eating out all the time. And this is like a crazy problem. The statistics in North America show that basically 50% of the population is somewhat uh, overweight. And I think, you know, more people, young people should exercise and invest in their health. Going for hikes, going to the gym, going for a jog, taking some sort of class, some sort of cardio class. I would suggest maybe a boxing course, some kickboxing classes, yoga classes. Those are really popular. Even dancing, right? Activities like that burn a lot of calories. Eating healthy, right? This is all very important because you don't want to get to the point where you have to see a doctor about your health. I can definitely tell you a lot of health issues such as diabetes, joint problems, cancer. These issues arise from not exercising, overeating. I think if you exercise and you don't overeat, you can avoid a lot of health problems in your later years. That concludes the video. I hope you guys enjoyed my tips. Leave in the comments below what videos you want me to make next. Stay tuned guys, because I'll be making some more videos about schooling, career, health, and fitness. So guys, thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.